Welcome back. This weekend was a big one for the Gonzaga basketball team. Admon Gilder visited on Saturday. On Sunday, he committed, and at the same time he committed, Gonzaga was pitching themselves to another highly coveted transfer, South Dakota State's David Jenkins Jr. And Gonzaga isn't the only local program pushing hard for Jenkins talents, as Wazoo also made the guards top seven schools. Jeff Goodman with Stadium ranked Jenkins as the second best transfer who would have to sit out a year on the market this offseason season, so obviously the guy's pretty talented. Here are just some vitals on him. Last year he averaged 19.7 points per game and shot 45% from three while taking eight threes per game. He averaged 14 field goals attempted per contest, making seven. A scout told Jeff Goodman that, quote, David is a dynamic scorer that makes challenging shots at such an efficient level. He just needs to improve on the defensive end. End Quote, I mentioned before that Jenkins has to sit out a year if he transfers. He has two more years left to play after that. Seems very similar to a guy who had a pretty good year for Gonzaga this year. Yeah, his name's Brandon Clark. There's no doubt that Gonzaga pitched Jenkins hard on the redshirt year transfer program they have put in place. Ironically, that all started with someone who didn't even transfer, but was mulling tr transferring, Kelly Olenek. It continued with such names as Kyle Wilcher, Nigel Williams-Goss, Jonathan Williams, and yes, Brandon Clark. That is is a huge advantage Gonzaga has. There are, of course, plenty more. Out of all the schools that Jenkins is looking at, Gonzaga is the most consistent in terms of competing for national championships. So that's got to be a huge draw. Finally, if Norvell were to leave, then there would certainly be room on the roster during the 2020 21 2021 season for an experienced sharpshooter alongside Corey Kispert. Here's the one rub with GU. The Zags currently don't have a scholarship to offer Jenkins. Gilder took the last available scholarly, so now Gonzaga has to wait and see if Norvell or Tilly decide to declare for the draft, thus opening another scholarship. Basically, Gonzaga has to hope that Jenkins is willing to be patient for a few weeks, unless there's someone transferring from the roster that we are not aware of currently. And so that leads us to Washington State, who has plenty of open scholarships. In fact, another one opened up today as news broke that Chance Moore is leaving the program. He never played a minute for the Cougars as he transferred in this winter. Now, like I said, Jenkins listed Wazoo in his top seven, but he has yet to visit the school. He has taken official visits to Oregon two weekends ago in Gonzaga this past weekend. The appeal of Wazoo is this. Come in and immediately be the guy after sitting out a year. There's no doubts that he would be one of the best players on Kyle Smith's roster once he is eligible and would be a huge building block for the team. Him and CJ LB teaming up could result in some pretty awesome things. Of course, there are a lot of risks coming to Wazoo, and that those are pretty obvious if you look up their record in the last few years. Beyond Gonzaga, Wazoo, and Oregon, Jenkins is considering UCLA, Memphis, and UNLV. UNLV mm -hmm. is where his former head coach at South Dakota State accepted a new head coaching job. Uh, he also listed South Dakota State in his top seven, but with the offers he's been receiving, I sincerely doubt he stays there. Jenkins also uh, from Tacoma, Washington, okay. so hmm. perhaps the pull of being able to get closer to home would also entice yeah. him to come back to the Pacific yeah. Northwest. Come back to Washington, your home state, right? Yes, exactly.